everyone, this is Cody from Vet Agri Health Services and I just wanted to have a quick video on the new purchase by Facebook of Oculus VR. So Oculus VR is a virtual reality company. Uh, the purchase was just for yesterday, it was for two billion dollars. And the product that Oculus VR is most famous for is the Oculus, Oculus Rift. So the Oculus Rift is a uh, virtual reality goggles uh, that has been making a big splash over the last couple of years in the gaming community. So gaming and veterinary medicine um, probably doesn't have too many uh, parallels, but I think there is some exciting things that could be done with Oculus Rift as it pertains to, to the, the veterinary world. So the first thing would be um, imaging. So Oculus Rift, imaging goggles, so that seems like a natural fit. So one would be, and this technology already exists uh, at least uh, in its prelim stages, is an MRI or a CT uh, patch that allows you to look through your Oculus Rift goggles and be able to um, look at a CT image or an MRI and being able to have a stereoscopic view of, of whatever you're trying to look at. So you could have a more detailed and intimate look at, uh, say, a heart, a uh, long bone fracture, and really get your head wrapped around uh, what you're going to be dealing with, with surgery or diagnostics, uh, before you get started. So that's definitely an exciting piece of technology for sure. Uh, next up would be teaching. So anatomy would be another one that you could use the Oculus Rift for. Uh, teaching uh, vet students or veterinarians, so allowing you a, a more immersive view into the in that type of environment, being able to look at say what the mesentery actually looks like in a standing animal. Uh, we have computer programs that do that in the two dimension right now. Some of them do a good job, some of them do less good of job, and I really think a new type of technology like the Oculus Rift uh, would really be able to, to accelerate that process, uh, that learning process for sure. Uh, clinical skills while we're on the topic of students, so being able to teach them clinical skills as well uh, in, within a virtual reality or augmented reality uh, immersive environment. Uh, that could be a very, very interesting thing, so getting these students brushed up on, on different skills we want them to come out uh, vet school uh, proficient in, so that could be pretty good. Um, if we, this one's getting out there a little bit, so uh, in my world, uh, pen riders will do pen checking and they are identifying sick animals visually off of horseback or off of foot. So I was thinking why not uh, combine the Oculus Rift uh, VR goggles uh, with a product called uh, Geonaut. And Geonaut 360 is a camera that's basically like a GoPro camera but it takes a 360 image uh, simultaneously so you can look up, you can look all around. Uh, so you could actually do things like pen checking audits uh, with the Geonaut and you as the veterinarian could uh, look at that pen environment and identify any sick animals that that uh, pen rider may have missed and just do a generalized audit there. You could take that one step further and do um, pen checking if you attach your Geonaut to say a quadcopter and this uh, this would allow you to non-invasively um, do a check in a pen, identify sick animals, radio in to pen riders and say, you know, there's no sick animals in pen one and you need to pull out one sick animal in pen two. It could be interesting. Uh, I've had a couple of discussions with veterinarians about this, this concept as well. Uh, so hopefully they're not mad at me. Uh, another one could be behavior studies. So the use of the Geonaut 360 and Oculus Rift uh, when we're trying to identify different environments and, and behavioral things. I could see this application of wildlife, attaching these cameras to wildlife and getting a real immersive view of, of what they're looking at. Uh, but even within our domesticated species as well, uh, there's lots of behavioral trials that we do. And just to have a different perspective, um, more true to what the animal would be experiencing at that time visually, uh, could be definitely a, a neat experience as well. Uh, there could be other, you know, off the wall things like increasing brand awareness of your vet clinic. So, 
you could put a camera, a GeoNOT uh, camera within your clinic and you could attach it to the clinic dog or cat and people at home could get a, a really good view of what your clinic does and get you get them familiarized with the surroundings and, and sometimes just put them at ease and make them more comfortable. So I guess there's a lot of different applications out there that could be used with this technology.